The hand slide wide drill is a basic drill for focusing on having a loose bottom hand and the expansion of reach. When the ball is extended at maximum distance away from the body, the hands are together. As the ball is pulled in front of the body, the hands are slid wide and then back together again as maximum reach is attained on the other side. We can now adapt the hand slide drill to incorporate a push-pull move utilizing the toe and the heel of the stick blade. In tight the hands are wide. The ball is pushed forward with the heel out in front of the body while the hands are slid together. It is then stopped with the toe of the blade and pulled back in tight to the body. This same process is repeated out to the forehand side. The figure 8 drill continues to focus on loose bottom hand and expansion of reach while working on the player's ability to pull the puck diagonally across his body. Pucks or any other objects can be used as obstacles to work around. The wider the obstacles are placed, the more difficult the exercise. The player must cup his stick blade and use both heel and toe to perform the drill effectively. The through body drill works on the player's ability to manipulate the puck behind his body. This is done with hand skills as well as trunk rotation. Players should slide their hands together to maximize their reach behind the body. The wide dribble drill focuses on the expansion of reach and hand quickness while keeping hands and arms away from the body for proper technique. The drill is set up by placing cones or pucks staggered between 7 and 12 feet apart. The player walks down the center lane while stick handling around the obstacles. Let's watch it again. Notice the top hand is extended in front and away from the body to maximize the player's reach. The same extension is used on the backhand. One more time through, wide reach, quick dribbles and hands away from the body. Here it is in game action. Paris Rockus loses it and now here's a two on one developing. Richie going in all alone, he scores! Our push-pull drill helps players become comfortable utilizing the toe and the heel of the slide. As before, pucks are placed as obstacles in a straight line about two feet apart. The player pushes the ball away from his body to entice the opponent and then rapidly pulls the ball back in using the toe of the blade. In slow motion, watch the player's top hand action. It is this top hand wrist roll that controls the stick and ball while the bottom hand is kept loose and used as a guide. A variation to this drill is the backhand toe drag. In this situation the player pushes the ball wide in his backhand then stops its momentum using his forehand. He then quickly switches back to the backhand side of his blade as he pulls the ball across his body with the toe of the stick. Let's watch this again in slow motion. An advantage to this move is that the ball can be moved across the player's body while being kept closer to his feet.
Here's a sample of the pull move in action. And finally, it's pushed to the blue line, not out. Richmond, nice move to get around one man. Over to Stafford, a shot, follow-up shot. The stick flip sequence works on the soft hands aspect of puck control. A light touch is required along with the ability to really rotate the stick's blade face to cup the puck. Next we move to handling the ball on the forehand side of the body. The last segment of the sequence forces the player to incorporate trunk rotation into the drill. This drill is inspired by the hacky sack game and works on a player's hand, eye, and stick coordination skills. The player begins by attempting to keep a ball in the air by bouncing it off the shaft and blade of his stick. Players can progress through alternating contacts between the forehand and backhand sides of the blade. It is important to keep your hands close together in a position you would use when puck handling. The farther down the shaft you slide your bottom, the easier the exercise becomes. Like the drill's namesake, it becomes more challenging in a group setting. The players attempt to keep a ball in the passing it to each other, limiting each player to a single ball contact before he must pass increases the drill's difficulty. Here Brett Hull scores the game-tying goal of the 96 World Cup Final using his hand, eye, and coordination skills. The toe tap drill was adapted from a soccer exercise for foot quickness and agility. We have added in the puck handling portion to increase the difficulty by forcing the player to work on his body control and his ability to multitask. The drill is performed by alternately touching the top of the soccer ball with the foot, then the right foot as fast as possible while puck handling. The soccer ball pass drill challenges the player's puck handling skills by forcing him to multitask with dexterity and body control. In this drill, players must pass a soccer ball between each other while individually handling their own puck or ball. The players may only use their sticks to handle the pucks and use other parts of their bodies to pass the soccer ball. Like in a complex game situation, the players are forced to utilize their hand skills while performing a dynamic maneuver with their lower body. Their attempts be focused on performing several tasks at once. Watch this quick reacting redirection play by John LeClaire using his feet. The balance board drill is a challenging exercise that improves the player's coordination, dexterity, and balance. Expensive stability pads and equipment are not required. Simply crossing two pieces of 2x4 from around the garage will have the same effect. The player stands on the top board and puck handles around his body while attempting to keep his balance. As you perform the drill you will feel the strain through your midsection. It is this core body coordination that ties everything together and provides the player with stability. We feel this drill has great carryover to on-ice situations and helps players become stronger on their skates during physical contact. Now let's watch Adam Deadmarsh battle through a series of body contacts and still possess the puck. <laughs> 